when you first got your saxophone, you may have looked at it and thought, wow, there's a lot of keys on here. I wonder what they all do. Then after you learn quite a bit, maybe you realized again that there are some keys here that you've never used before. Let's go through and look at a couple different fingering techniques for different notes and a couple alternate fingerings that'll make some passages easier. First, let's go over third line B flat. We're gonna look at three different fingerings and when they might be useful. First finger, second finger, and our bottom right hand side key. That will play our third line B flat. Another option we have is to use the bis key. That's this little guy right between the B and A keys in our left hand. I like to think of bis B flat not as a different fingering, but as a different finger position. My first finger is going to press both the B and bis keys together at the same time. The third way that we can play B flat is with first finger in each hand, one and one, or one and four, depending on how you number your fingers. Which B flat you use is mostly personal preference, either for the player or the teacher. Personally, I like to use one, two, and the side key. I like to use the bis fingering when there's a flat in the key signature, or there's a B flat in a passage that I have to play over and over again. One and one, or one and four, is a fingering that I very rarely use. It's a little less in tune than the other two options, and there's really very few times that I want to use this, mostly in an arpeggio. Let's move on and talk about chromatic F sharp. Our standard way of playing F sharp is one, two, three, five, with our middle finger in the right hand. This works in many instances. However, when you're going from F to F sharp in maybe a chromatic scale, there's a better way to do this. If you are going back and forth between F and F sharp like this, you're possibly going to get either G or E to come out instead. What we want to do instead is to play alternate F sharp or chromatic F sharp. Now you've probably seen a key down in your right hand you've never used before that opens up a tone hole on the back side of your saxophone. The way we use that is to actually put the F natural fingers down, one, two, three, four, and then use our ring finger to hit that key that we've never used before. That's going to play chromatic F sharp. to chromatic F sharp, we also have a different way to play C when going back and forth between B and C. If I'm going back and forth a lot, I don't like to just flip flop my fingers because I might get either a C sharp or an A in between if I don't do it perfectly. Instead, I can press the B key and the middle side key in my right hand with the side of my right hand. That will then play C. Finally, let's look at an alternate fingering that will bring a notoriously out of tune note closer to in tune. Fourth line D on saxophones is very sharp. This is a problem because a lot of bands tune to concert F which on alto saxophone is that fourth line D. The way to fix this, the way to bring it closer in tune is to play that D, but then add the low B natural key, your inside left pinky key to bring that down. Listen as I play it without the fix and with the fix. just a few of the alternate fingering possibilities available to us on the saxophone. I encourage you to try some of these out and experiment with some on your own. Hopefully you can use some of these techniques to continue to improve.